Hey folks, welcome back to After Work Gaming. We are here on Mars for more Moons of Madness. Now, last time, if you recall, we came back from the communication site where we had a, a bit of a disturbing experience. Doesn't really narrow it down. Everything in this game is a disturbing experience. But we came back, uh, we made contact with our team, and we're back at base, although the team, according to them, have gone off to check on the Cyrano, which we saw crash last time. And they also are aware, because Lucas told them, that uh, Dr. Valkova's uh, projects in the greenhouse have gone wild. Uh, okay, well, Declan told us that there was something going on, but they got emergencies on emergencies, so they don't really have time to pay attention to this. Nonetheless, let's just go ahead and refill the air, even though I think we're about to take off our helmets since we're back at base base. Okay. Anything? Nope, we're taking our helmet off. Okay, fine. Fantastic. Alright, let's see what it's like in here now. Holy shit, the whole base is infected. Okay. Lucas. Lucas. Of course no response. Yeah, this place went a little nutsy. Now, according to Declan, this is all mangrove roots. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, this is definitely not mangrove roots, you guys. Flowers. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa! Exploding flowers. Okay, well, let's try not to get near that. We've got some sort of thing coming down from here. Oh, shit. The research lab is completely blocked by a, a polyp. Hold tight, Lucas. There has to be a way to get rid of it. Oh, is Lucas can't inside? Walls can't open the doors. Yeah, nothing's great here. No part of this is great. Let's put it that way. There's a lot of waving tentacles here. Okay, the infirmary is open. Explore the infirmary. Find a way to destroy the growth. Let's just see. Find Lucas, explore the infirmary, find a way to destroy the growth in a research lab. Alright, well, let, before we get to the infirmary, what else is out here? Um, uh, Not much. Okay, 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 I get it. We're going to the infirmary. Okay. I don't think we need the flashlight quite yet, but... Got blood... And this thing coming out of the walls and ceilings is not great. Let's be honest with ourselves here. What do we have on the tables here that we can work with, maybe? Inspect. Oh. Okay. Well, there we are. Some sort of injector gun. Okay, this is for dead bodies, maybe? It's like a mor- no, it's not morgue. It's not deep enough. Or maybe it is. Maybe it is deep enough, okay. Blood bag, everything's covered in the... in the tentacles. Nothing? Okay. What else we got? What else we got? Beakers, beakers... We've got a computer on, we'll, we'll check that in a minute. Uh, 1-4-R-H. 1-4-R-H. Okay. You know, just, just in case. Alright, anything else? Let's take a look before we hit the computer, because that's probably the way for us to progress. Anything? No. I'm gonna turn off the flashlight just so it's a little easier to pick up detail, otherwise it kind of gets washed out in the light. Okay, well, it looks like the computer is the way to go. Okay. It looks like it's Lucas's emails, too. Lucas was definitely here. He analyzed a sample of the roots. Great. Lucas Van Buren. Uh, Philology and Medicine Security Level 2. Locked out. It is worse than I had expected. Naturally, as soon as I saw what happened, I attempted to retrieve my notes and fabricate a counteragent. Ina must have anticipated my interference, as when I arrived to the door, the impenetrable root system and fleshy polyp blocked my pathway. It seemed as though the vociferous plant sensed my presence. I was barely able to extricate myself from the encounter. However, I acquired a small tissue sample from my boot after wrestling it from one of the vines. 
the analyzer identified a temporary counteragent, which I set to producing immediately. My man, it is all over. You can get it from anywhere. The vines are becoming more and more aggressive. I hope a Z-series injector is sturdy enough to pierce the roots. I think that's what we picked up. I must return to the laboratory in haste. With a proper way to reverse this reckless experiment, the base will not withstand this assault. I had warned Dr. Valkova about this exact type of accident, or incident. Her ambition, unbridled by the constraints of moral values, has become her undoing. The limitless potential of the Z pathogen clouded her judgment, and within that mental malaise, the passionate spirit that once embodied her waking hours has physically manifested throughout the base in a mangled cacophony of mangrove roots and filth. You got a really specific way of writing, Lucas, you know that? Forward, control. Arbormore. This is why I insisted on protocols and procedures to avoid a situation exactly like this one. Ina, what have you done? Formula uploaded, biogauge, user, Van Buren. L, so that's him. Controls, Z-series.dat. Analyzing sample. It's the recipe for a plant poison. Well, if Lucas thought it would do something to the tree, I should do the same. I need to find and mix different vials at the centrifuge. Interesting. Impure formula, pure formula. Alright, well, let me just write this down real quick. Sorry. Blue, 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 blue. Red, blank. And then red, blank, blue, blue, purple, blue, blank. Okay, fine. Uh, SQSZ. I'm just gonna write down all these numbers. 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.9, 145, 0.8. I have no idea what what any of this means or how useful it'll be, but you know, whatever. Medbay log. Let's track it back to the beginning. Newhart, that's us. Shane, fungal infection minor. Delapore, exposure, minor seam tear in suit. Delapore, supplement, vitamin B. Jay Wilcox, supplement, vitamin B. Shane Newhart, supplement, vitamin B. Wilcox, triazolum. Minor cut, peroxide. Not clear who it is. Jay Wilcox, triazolum, Van Buren, triazolum. I wonder what triazolum is. Okay. All right. The analyzer is back here, maybe? Oh, there it is. Okay. Open it up. I see. No compatible item. Place, remove, vial, rotate. I I'll need Lucas's chemicals to make a mixture. Okay. I got a bunch of chemicals. Is there more here? Yes, there is. This could be useful. Yeah, well, take it, man. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ugh, disgusting. Right. That was definitely appreciated. All right, let's grab all the vials, and then we'll figure it out at the machine. Okay, we're grabbing that. Operating instructions for, I'm assuming, this thing. Is there anything else? Yes, there is. There's one more here. Let's just run around the lab and see if there's anything else for us to pick up. Because I don't wanna I don't wanna get stuck on it just because I'm missing a vial. Anything here? No. No vials there, no vials there. This is just a spooky room. No. Okay, fine. Let's go back to the analyzer and build something. Okay. Uh, recipe. Mixture and recipe. Okay. Now, let's place... Oh, I see. So we have to build this thing from the, from the parts given. Okay, so let's just see through here. We don't need this one in right now because we're not we don't have anything in that bottom right corner. We could use this one. Plus this one that'll build. 
Okay. How do we get the center? We need a centerpiece, right? Let's just start with that. We need this one because it has to be the center. Okay, perfect. Let's place another vial. Nope. Oh, I wrote- I'm sorry, guys. Um... Okay. Let me just draw this out here on my side. We will place this one. And then we will rotate. What is that? Okay, that's probably for the computer. Okay, now we need to place... This one doesn't work at all. Okay, let's just keep that in mind because, again, it's that bottom right. And this one doesn't work at all. So what's left is... These, this... Hmm. Unless, is it? I it, well, let's 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 try this out. Hold on. Let's put this one in. Yes. Okay. So if you double up, you turn it red. And just so we're clear, is there another one that'll put us at the top? Yes. Is it going to deactivate on the third? No. It'll turn purple. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's remove. And let's remove. So there's no reason to double or triple up on the side, that's fine. Which means that we aren't going to use these at all. Which means... We'll put this one in. Okay. We will put this one in because it'll turn that corner red. And then we will put in, I think there's a solitary, yes, there it is. Perfect. Mix. The centrifuge will only spin if the contents are balanced. They're balanced? What is that? Oh. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I get it. Sort of. Sort of? There's six of them. How the heck are we gonna... I, I mean, does that mean that we only can use the three? Hmm. No, it doesn't. It just means... Sorry. It just means that we're gonna put this one in here. And we're going to take this one out. Right, and that's the twofer. That's this one. It should be balanced. There we go. Now this is, I think, the impure mixture. And I wonder if there's a difference between the That did it! Okay, we're gonna pick that up. We got an injector. Perfect. Declan, a little hope. Lucas is AWOL, but he was working on a poison. I've got the compound to test out. Not much but scorched metals and detritus out here. Let's start cataloging, but we're not salvaging. We're walking around a crime scene. Okay, well, that's the Cyrano. That's, that's done. Does it work? And... Success! Earth. What the hell? Whoa! Oh, hey, guys. No. God damn it! Lucas! Declan! Lucas is dead! Lucas is fucking dead! Oh, God, no. He's completely covered in that black fluid. It's everywhere. Pulsing. It's, it's on the walls, on the floor. It's, it's like it knew. Shane, you're not gonna die. Nobody else is gonna die. We just have to keep going. I feel like I'm gonna be sick. I can't deal with this. Okay. Well, sorry, Lucas. And what are those things? What was the what were those things all around you? Or the, the three guys around you? They're having some sort of very specific interaction here. Alright, so Lucas is dead, that's one down. That is really horrific. Okay, well, let's look around. Right? I mean, is there anything else that we haven't read here? Look at the moon orbits. No, we read all this. Whoa. All right, this is the robot lab. That's right. This is the thing with all the, the robot pieces, the eyes and the arms and the legs. Wow, and it is just covered in this webbing. I mean, this is not roots, man. 
I'm sorry, but it's not roots. Uh, okay. Damn. All right, let's see what else is going on here. That's the law. That's the the notebook. Don't explode. Don't explode. Open. Okay. Is there anything new that we haven't seen from before? Declan found promising sight. Yada yada yada. No. Nope. Nothing. It's what we read last time, and I'm not getting near that because that's going to explode in my face. Okay. What's left? Inspect Lucas's PC terminal in the research lab. Okay, and locate the vial in the research lab. The vial? I don't know. Well, we got the Matryoshka doll, which I'm- and the thing, which I'm gonna guess is probably... Volkova's terminal. We got more tentacles here. We'll head upstairs before we use this computer. This is just off. Surprisingly, tomatoes? Okay. I like that. <laughs> okay, is there any- I mean, did they add anything here? Mineralogical analysis? No, we already read that. That is probably for us to then go back and synthesize the pure mixture. So we can- I'm a- Here's my- here's my guess. I'm assuming we're gonna use the pure mixture, we're gonna go back to the greenhouse to face our demons. So to speak. No? Okay. And that's probably the vial that our objective talks about. And that is... yeah, that's Lucas again. Okay. Alright, let's head upstairs real quick. Let's just see what's up there, and then we'll hit the computer. And then... I, I think it'll be back to synthesizing something. And the tree is surprisingly okay. Alright. Yeah, this is a thing that's happening now. Can we see... where is it? There it is. Let's see, can we see anything happening inside the greenhouse from here? Nope. Nope, all looks normal. Okay, well, that's strange, but alright. Let's go grab the vial, let's go check out the computer, and then... I think we have to synthesize the pure mixture. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Uh, first things first, grab the vial. Thank A final you. gift. I hope it was worth it. Yeah... Yeah, thanks, Lucas. Um... Cool. Perfect. Counter-agent. Something terrible has happened to Ina. She calls out to me. I can hear her taunting, her voice echoing through the halls. I know I can convince her. I have to. Chemical, Volley, 9928B. I'll need the improved counter-agent. Whoops. Sorry. Sorry, guys. Misclicked. Okay, let's get back in there. Okay, we read this one. Moana Loa Hybrid. Mauna. Loa, Dr. Valkova, one of the hybrid samples, my Wuna Loa hybrid, I clipped from the new specimen, is especially dangerous. When it blooms, it expels a noxious cloud. Initially, I assumed these were spores of some kind, but aside from a mucousy residue with the chemical composition of saliva, the cloud dissipates quickly. Analysis of the gas shows high levels of tetrodoxit tetrodoxitoxin. From these small clippings I took, the neurotoxin is not strong enough to cause more than nausea and discomfort, but from a full-grown plant up close, the effects could be fatal. Okay, we're definitely avoiding those big plants. He Email. coded a biogauge script. Lucas and Ina both knew this could happen. Okay. Email biogauge script. Dr. Valkova, to follow up, I've attached a simple biogauge script designed to combat exposure to the poison released by the hybrid bloom. Please download for your safety. The Man, what is going on? Sorry, my mouse is acting up. Dune, counter and carry. The, the bloom reflex is triggered when an organism comes into close proximity. Alternatively, a pulse of high-frequency sound can also trigger the reflex prematurely, allowing the gas to dissipate before approaching. For the time being, I took the initiative to pull these plants from the hydroponics wheel so we can talk. Software updated, not Orochi certified, but if Lucas was correct, a quick scan with the biogauge should trigger the plant's bloom with a high-frequency pulse. 
Okay, so attachment, BioGauge script. BioGauge script package download started. Device profile, new hard chain, BioGauge script package installing. Integrated package, high frequency sonic pulse into scanner functionality. Installation complete, high frequency sonic pulse rate of reuse. Time taken, 0.13 seconds. Okay, where's that big plant that we saw? There it is. That's amazing. Boom. Now I can find a way into the greenhouse. Thank Eat. you, Dr. Van Buren. I should head back to the infirmary and synthesize the stronger poison. Shane, I'm like way ahead of you, man. Relax. Poop. There we go. And Lucas. Sorry, man. Oh, he's got the gun and everything. Sorry, my man. Okay, this is going too smoothly. Let's just not take any chances here with anything. And these tentacles are really disturbing. I'll need to use the centrifuge again. Shane, I'm aware I have to use the centr centrifuge again. I'm just gonna say. Eh, chemical analyzer, okay. Let's open her up. Now, let's just go ahead and pull all the vials. We'll just start from scratch. Okay, we don't need that one. Um. Yeah, let's let's pull them all. I'm thinking whether we should keep that, but no. Okay, and then remember, red is two, purple is three. Okay. Oh, and this just cycles. Grand, grand. Okay, so once again, there is this one, which will give us those three immediately. Okay, so let's put that in, because that is the new one that we got. Nice. Okay, let's go ahead and put this one in. We'll, we'll just build it first, then we'll balance later. Um, there will be... Huh. So we can't use this one. We can't use this one, because they put uh, dots and corners that we don't need it, and this one doubles up on the center. We can't use this one. We can use this one. In fact, we should, because this is one of the few that'll put a second dot on the bottom. Now we need one more on the bottom, which will probably be this one. In fact, it's the only one that'll give us the third dot. Oh, and we're golden. Nice. Okay. That's the one to do it on the bottom, so this one we'll put here. This one goes here. Right, because it's got to be balanced. And then we take this one out. Okay, we we'll put it in here. And then we close the centrifuge and spin it up. Balanced now. Just keep an eye on the door. Perfect. I think this is the pure tox- uh, the pure antidote now. Declan, I have what I need. I'm going into the greenhouse. Though I'm not sure what to do from there. Uh, dump the poison in the water reclaimer? The reclaimer would- No. You're on the right track. I need to hit it at the source. If I can get to the water filtration system, inject it there, the whole system is poisoned. It could work. Search for a way to access the greenhouse. Okay, well let's go this way. I'm seeing plants. You guys don't reform, right? No. Okay, okay. And perfect. Now I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna play until the next save... the actual save checkpoint, and then... Whoa. We will put a pin in everything. There we are. More plants. Tap. That's the greenhouse down there, I think. Yes, yes it is. Okay, before we go in there... Declan, this is out of control. Even if I could use the poison, the greenhouse door is covered in roots. It's walled off. 
Okay, try the emergency airlock by the greenhouse. Ah, uh, only way out now is the airlock in front of the greenhouse. Oh boy, it looks like I am going to... Oh no, if I have a helmet on, that doesn't really matter. I don't know why they're all freaking out. Or are they going to pull, like, an abyss thing, right? Where we're going to have to run without a helmet or something. It's just a short EVA to the airlock at the back of the greenhouse. Declan, there's no helmet in this airlock. And the only way to the greenhouse is from the outside. Okay, what about the other airlocks? They're completely overgrown. Two seconds, door opening. Approximately 50 meters. Another two seconds, atmosphere. Ten seconds. Oh, shit, I know what you're thinking, but I can't... Your earplugs will prevent your drums from rupturing. Exhale completely. You'll have to sprint. It's only minus 19 Celsius and no risk of frostbite. It's theoretically possible. This is the worst idea ever. Yeah, I'm with you. All right, you guys ever seen the abyss? We're gonna pull one of those. Uh, this is gonna suck a lot. Let's do it. We're running. Oh boy. Don't stop. You sound like you're holding your breath, Shane. That's not good. Don't hold your breath, man. You really don't want any air in, in this. Although, I think if you exhale completely, get in! Oh. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> nice. All right, you're good. Shane, come on, come on, check in. I'm here. Uh, I'm freezing. Headache is back. My ears are ringing. I should be dead. Jesus, slow down. Fuck, catch your breath, please. Are you good? Tell me you're good. Can you walk at least? I'm still standing. Hoping I'm not going into shock. I lost 40 years in 10 seconds. Okay, okay. We'll, we'll get you looked at as soon as we can. Hang in there. Okay. Well, it looks like we're at the greenhouse, right? And there are no roots in here. That's already a plus. Not that much of a plus. Not that much of a plus. Oh, this is the place. Okay. Well... I think we're going to pick this up next time, right from here. And then we're going to go into the spooky overgrown greenhouse, and we're probably going to have to deal with whatever the hell was running around here last time. So, if you guys enjoyed this, like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend. Let's me know that I'm doing something right. Let's me know that you guys want to see more of this stuff. If you have thoughts about this game, you think I missed something, you want me to play it differently, by all means, leave a comment. And in any case, I'll see you all next time. Ba ba ba